Hey guys, so today we are looking at a lip enhancement treatment on this patient. This is actually, I believe, the second or third time now that we have filled her lips. You can see that I'm starting with the AFE right angle technique through a backfilled 0.5 cc Comfort Talk syringe. The product we are using is Revenous Lips Plus, and it's a beautiful product that just sits really nicely in the lips, but also will give her some great volume. So you could see I kind of started right at the peak of her cupid's bow, and then I'm just doing those little vertical struts all the way down the lip until I reach the oral commissure. The peaks tend to be the pinchiest for the patient, but I really like to focus on that area to get as much height as possible and really just pick up that lip. And you can see the difference between the two sides. So then you'll see that I'll kind of just start the same process on the other side, always starting within the pink of the lip. I never want to start outside of the vermilion border because that can really just cause um, some migration to happen down the line. So I always like to start within the pink of the lip to make sure I'm not ruining that vermilion border, allowing for product to migrate out and just work all the way down. This patient is doing a wonderful job. She was just topically numbed. These tend to be a little pinchy. So you can see the top lip completely done. It looks amazing. And now I'm just doing the same technique on the bottom lip. I tend to use the AFE right angle technique more for the top lip. And then the bottom, I use it kind of just in the natural pillows of the bottom lip just to kind of enhance those, pull down the lip a little bit more, give a little bit more of a pouty appearance. And then you'll see, I'll just go in and start filling uh, with a standard volume technique. I really have been liking just keeping my filler backfilled into Comfort Talk syringes because I find that it's just very precise. The product goes exactly where I want it to go. And I'm not worried about pushing too much product, causing crazy lumps and bumps or anything like that. So you'll see that I'll continue with her lip enhancement, just doing standard volume, just right out of the Comfort Talks syringe, which a lot of my patients recently have been telling me it's way more comfortable for them as well. Um, it's a 31 gauge needle, so not as intense when being injected into the lip. So my patients really have also been liking this technique. So you can see just first kind of getting closer to the vermilion border just to give some nice shape and then going a little further down into the body of the lip to create more volume. And then moving down to the bottom and doing the same thing. So staying closer to that vermilion border and then you'll see that I'll come and really kind of fill in more of the body. and the patient is doing really well. She typically does swell a little bit, which you can see, and she only likes to do a little bit at a time, so I believe we only used about half a syringe for this patient. And now I'm just kind of going in, smoothing out everything, making sure it feels nice, no major lumps and bumps, and then I like to clean the patient up make sure all those little blood crusties, dried blood areas are gone and take a really good look at the patient. So I'll have her sit up, I'll have her smile, I'll have her look at her own lips and you can see I'll always ask the patient like, do you see an area that's bothering you? Because I don't want the patient going home for the next two weeks and staring at that little area. I would rather have them tell me right then so I can fix it which is exactly what we did. So she kind of pointed to an area that she thought could use a little more volume. So I laid her back, I alcoholed her off again, and I'm kind of fixing those little areas, just fine tuning, being very nitpicky. And then I always like to end with a final massage. So 
Once I'm done with these last few injections, you'll see that I'll just, again, massage with some gauze, make sure everything is nice and smooth, and then she will be done. So we will apply the Comfortox Lips Post Care Kit, get her all nice and glossed up, and then take my before and after photos, and she will be good to go. She has holiday ready lips. I only used about half a syringe for this patient, which is nice. And you can see just how beautiful those results are. And that is it. She was very happy with these results. Thanks for watching, everybody.